Hi, I'm Cecilia Dixon, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Mike Kelly and his interpretation of identity. So to center Mike Kelly as an artist wholly interested in what he calls repressed memory syndrome and how this shapes adult identity, I would like to begin with a quick discussion of repressed memory syndrome and a quote from Kelly himself. Though widely debated in the psychological field, repressed memory syndrome refers to a trauma response in which one attempts to maintain, quote, psychological equilibrium by unconsciously blocking a traumatic memory. Kelly extends and shifts this idea away from physical trauma and instead looks at amnesia pertaining to childhood as a whole, saying, quote, I'm not interested in remembering anything. There's not much to remember anyway. My biography is fairly dull. It is much better to fill in these empty spaces with fiction than the boring truth. I filled in the blanks with pastiches of things that had affected me when I was a child. Cartoons, films, and the kinds of horrible stories one finds in the literature of repressed memory syndrome. I just mixed all that up. Though Kelly claims that the mundane aspects of his biography are embellished with elements borrowed from his childhood, Kelly's identity turns into an assemblage of childhood memories, making the pastiches just as representative of the artist as his true biography. By investigating two of Kelly's works, Banana Man and Brown Star, we can see that to Kelly, adult identity is a result of childhood engagements, toys, and memories discarded into the farthest recesses of our minds. Banana Man and Brown Star are physical and conceptual stand-ins for Kelly's childhood and ultimately his adult identity. In 1982, Mike Kelly presented his first completed video work, The Banana Man, in which he attempted to recreate a television character from his youth that he had admittedly never witnessed. The original Banana Man, shown on screen, was a product of the children's television show series Captain Kangaroo that ran for 29 seasons starting in 1955. Captain Kangaroo's Banana Man featured an operatic clown, reaching into his pockets for an endless supply of tricks and, well, bananas. Kelly built his interpretation of the Banana Man off of childhood hearsay, transforming himself into what he believed the character to be, perhaps more of a visualization of Kelly's own childhood than a faithful depiction of the titular role. While the Banana Man is an early addition to Kelly's oeuvre, it aptly foreshadows his later work and dedication to themes of childhood memories, material consumption, and collections. The entirety of Mike Kelly's Banana Man consisted of a 28-minute video, several hand-drawn character studies, and a photograph of Kelly in costume as the main character. The video, like much of Kelly's work, has long been archived and is only viewable during rare screenings, so I have chosen to focus on the photograph and one of Kelly's character drawings. One of the only existing portraits of Kelly as the Banana Man features the artist leaning against a bass drum, legs crossed playfully. He smirks at the camera outfitted in a pocket-covered yellow sailor suit and a Dixie cup of the same hue. A single ringlet of brown hair dangles over Kelly's brow, the youthful cut suspending Kelly in a limbo between childhood and adulthood. This portrait of the Banana Man introduces us to multiple facets of Kelly's interpretation of identity. His childlike appearance alludes to a fascination with childhood musings and misinterpretations as a building block for our adult selves. The classic sailor's hat is an ode to his soon-to-be interest in kitsch and consumerism. His abundance of pockets reference themes of collecting and guarding items. The Banana Man is a personification of childhood experiences and memories, and by playing the role himself, Kelly declares his place as an individual, conceived almost entirely of the ghost of his youth. In this image, we see Kelly's conceptualization of the Banana Man. He asks, why does the Banana Man decide on a life of entertaining children? And answers his own question with the response, on the contrary, he had nothing to do with the decision. Kelly also scrolls across the page several other related thoughts, such as children drawn together by a collective feeling of torture, a common feeling, a collective thought. Kelly's Banana Man isn't deciding to entertain children. The children are deciding that he will entertain them. Our childhood memories are shaped by our peers to form what we ultimately become, the banana man, or an amalgamation of childhood. Ten years later, Mike Kelly's Brown Star, staged in Jeffrey Deitch's post-human exhibition, also grapples with childhood identity, but extends to focus on matters of both materiality and materialism. Brown Star features six hanging masses constructed out of stuffed animals, each one a slightly different tone of tan. Kelly positions the animals in an embrace, their tails, ears, and ribbons protruding from the masses. The discarded stuffed animals comfort each other, hanging tight so as to avoid being turned into garbage. One orb features a monkey, dangling, afraid to let go and drop on the sterile gallery floor. 
Dutch presents Kelly as conflating humans and animals, presenting an uneasy confusion of artificiality, innocence, and bestiality. In separate instances, Kelly regards the stuffed animal as a stand-in for both the parent and the child. In Playing with Dead Things, Kelly identifies the stuffed animal as a child's first not-me possession, an object that is essentially a stand-in for the mother. In a discussion about his piece, Eviscerated Corpse, Kelly remarks that to him, the stuffed animal is a pseudo-child, a cutified sexless being which represents the adult's perfect model of a child, a neutered pet. Kelly's positioning of the stuffed animal as both a child and an adult draws on the fine line between the two states of being. We are not so different from our childhood selves. Whether adult or child, the stuffed animals remain in their desperate embrace. While in The Banana Man, Mike Kelly creates a character made out of childhood memories, Brown Star presents the idea in sculptural form, confronting the viewer with a physical mass made out of the polyester remnants of childhood and conflating adult and child in the process.